Roy Keane had the biggest influence on me as a person than any other players ever had on me in terms of every single day, he never never allowed any player to get away with any form of indiscipline, dropping standards. Uh, from the minute you walked into the training ground, the way that you even parked your car, the way that you even dressed, the way that you even spoke to people, he would not let you get away with absolutely anything. And, and that, he, he was inspirational. And I've got to say that I'm not saying I'm close to him, but I, I I think he realises the effect that he has on me in terms of the standards that he drives dri drove me every day. And when I went to Everton, every time I thought when I was captain about certain situations, I thought I, I used to think of Roy Keane and his influence about the standards and, and not going down to other people's standards about getting people to get up to yours. And he was, he was a phenomenal captain and one that if you speak to any player at that time... Yes, yes, he was hard. Yes, he was sometimes brutal. But ultimately, he just wanted to win games of football for Manchester United. And that, that's why it never got personal with him. And that's why, for me, he was the best that I'd ever played with. He tried to sign me once for Sunderland, Phil, but my voice <laughs> made, what's up, <laughs> cost me. <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> oh, God, is, it, is, that true? is it true? <laughs> two, two. It's true, <laughs> mate, yeah. I can't believe it, man. I seen him in the airport, you know, going to um, on holiday, and I went up to him, and he was sitting with his family, and I know he's, you know, he's, yeah. he's, he's very close to his family, and I thought, um, do I go up to him? Do I go up to him? Because I've not spoke to him since no. that come out in his book. So I went yeah. up to him and I said, I called him Mr. Key and I said, listen, just to um, let you know, I read the book, you know, I wish you'd have signed me, I respected you massively as a player, you know, I think I could have done good stuff for you, I'm a character, and I, I shook his hand, he was really nice, he was really nice, I think... Yeah. I, did, I think he respected the fact that I just didn't go over when he was his family, I waited till he got up and I went over to him, do you know what I mean? So, oh, you he, know, yeah. He's, he, he's honestly, I mean, he, has, he obviously has that persona and that image, uh, but ultimately he's brilliant company. He is, he's funny, he's witty, he's dry sense of humour. Uh, he's warm, he's got a warm side to him. Uh, you know, that, that people that people don't see him. When you see him on Sky, I've got to say, he's box office. Every every yeah. time, and I even watch clips back of his clips now, you know, of like the way that yeah. he speaks and it's the, the standards. And like I say, that is him. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. I don't think he can go on the telly and say brilliant game or brilliant. He just says it as it, yeah. as it is. And uh, he comes down to Salford games now and, and it's it, it, we have such a laugh because he's still the same. And he when he walks <laughs> into the box, everyone just tightens up a little bit and just makes sure that they do everything right, you know? And then I've got to say, I love him.